Hi everybody. Uh, it's been a while since my last video. Uh, had a lot of video ideas, but uh, this is the one that I settled on. It's a follow-up to a video I posted in 2019, uh, where I shared an L1 uh, leather Ed Walsh card. Uh, for those of you who are interested, I will put the link to that video in the description. Uh, but for those of you who don't care to watch it, uh, basically found the Ed Walsh L1, um, which is incredibly rare, and I consigned it with Robert Edward Auctions. Um, very, very cool experience. The uh, Ed Walsh was featured, um, got a third of a page in the catalog. It was a ton of fun uh, to see it sell, and it surpassed my expectations by a mile. Uh yeah, just a really fun overall experience with finding it and then consigning it, you know, not knowing necessarily if it was real and then what's it going to sell for. And, um, you know, wondering if I made a mistake turning down offers that I'd had before the auction and just all that. But um, anyway, uh, with the proceeds from the sale of the Ed Walsh, I was able to get a card that I had been wanting for who knows how long. Um, and it's this... Ty Cobb, Green Portrait T206. This is the toughest of green, um, Ty Cobb's T206. This is an SGC1. I actually bought it raw on eBay, which was a little scary, but um, I just, when I saw it, I knew this was, you know, as good as it was going to get with the price that I wanted to pay, and um, they've since made a big jump again, so I'm just happy that I'm, I'm into it. Let me show you kind of why it's a one here. Um, got some spots on his neck and the jersey and obviously the wrinkles. It's off center and there's a little paper loss on the front, but you know what? For a one, the front is pretty dang nice. On the back, um, it's got some paper loss. Um, it's actually like really thin paper loss. I don't think the video is going to pick it up, but you can actually like see some of the Piedmont ink. That's how like little paper got taken off. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, I'm just really happy to own this card. Um, very fortunate that everything worked out with that Ed Walsh, allowing me to have very, very little of my own money into this green cob. Um, really couldn't ask for any more. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I just want to thank REA, um, specifically Brian Dwyer for really taking care of me, um, with this. And yeah, it was just a ton of fun. So uh, I hope you guys liked the video. If there's a Teach Us 6 video that you want to see from me or any specific questions that you might have, be happy to answer. So uh, thank you all for watching, and maybe I'll see you soon in another video.